Hello everybody, Michael O'Grady here um, and I'm doing a quick video tutorial on using Cam Studio. Um, it's a German piece of software that's uh, free for you to download from camstudio.org and when you get there just go down the page to this link here. Uh, you get an exe file, just um, click go and it will upload Cam Studio for you. Um, it's changed in recent years and it's quite sophisticated. What I'm doing though is using, this is going to be confusing, I'm using TechSmith's Camtasia Studio, not to be confused with Cam Studio here, to record me operating Cam Studio. Okay, so the finished version that you're seeing was produced in Camtasia but I'm using Cam Studio to make an AVI movie and you'd be making Cam Studio movies if this is what you're going to do in. Both of these, Cam Studio and Camtasia Studio, record the monitor. As you're hearing, they take uh, audio uh, input. They can also take webcam input with little uh, windows in windows uh, and you finish screen. So what you're seeing is the Camtasia Studio uh, recording 1280 wide by 720 deep. So let's have a look at Cam Studio. It automatically produces flash swifts uh, and you've got to go into the options which we'll see in a minute um, to sort that out. We'll come back to region uh, finally because we've got to tell Cam Studio how much of the screen it's recording. So if we go into options, uh, video options, <coughs> These are the compression. Uh, we've got TechSmith Camtasia codec on there now, uh, but I'll just let it run at uh, Microsoft uh, Video One. Uh, to the left is uh, a fast frame rate and to the right is uh, slow, so keep it as big a file as possible. YouTube will um, crunch it down uh, as it requires. The cursor, we can hide, show, use the actual cursor or a custom cursor. Um, the audio options, we can go from the microphone or from speakers. Um, what other options do we have? Um, coming down here you might have to set these program uh, and recording to flash options, particularly program options. Um, hide the flashing rectangle during recording, I'm not sure if that's worked. Save settings and exit. Um, let's just have a little look. Play AVI file when recording stops. Um, I'm using a particular player. I uh, activated that one. Directory for recording. Um, it just puts it in default directories. So I've gone down here and uh, selected these. Uh, I haven't changed that. Name of AVI file. Ask for file. Uh, so that's OK. Uh, recording flash options. Uh, display conversion options before generating Swift. So it pops up a window there. Uh, with tools, um, so we can do screen annotations. Um, the screen annotations comes out empty when you first start, and if you go to library and then open shape library, um, oh, it's not gone there now. Um, it goes to the Cam Studio files, and you click a shapes folder, uh, and it opens uh, the shapes in here. But to be honest, the shapes are really naff. You just drag these out. They're absolutely appalling clip art, so we will get rid of those we don't like. Um, effects. Uh, we can have annotations. Uh, I've added a caption and a watermark. Well, I can add them if I go to the options and show um, where all these things are coming from. I can put a, a timestamp in hours, minutes, seconds. Um, I've put in here uh, some text. Uh, where uh, you choose your, uh, we say quadrant, your thidrant, <laughs> your your uh, corner, <coughs> and you've got text size and color, etc. Or you can put a watermark. You can get a, a PNG from Fireworks or Flash, and put a, an image path in there. Um, and then few. So that's okay. So what we need to do now then is uh, start start it up. But we need to select a region. We'll be uh, recording. Pause and record and stopping. When you stop, 
you create the, the various files. So if we go to region, um, select the screen, select all the monitor um, window, you can click on a particular window. Uh, I'm going to go to a fixed region, which gives me the option of uh, setting out the size, shows me um, top left, top right. But if I go to select, I can just drag out an area here. Now you'll see I've got um, artifacts showing up where the screen isn't able to handle Cam Studio operating and Camtasia Studio operating at the same time. Um, so we, um, I think we've got a, something strange happening. Yes, that's okay now. So you can see that. Um, I'm totting up the, the frames and the file size as we're going along. So you'd start to talk about um, your monitor, what, what you want it to do. I've got some red squirrels here. Very nice they are too. Okay, so you'd navigate, you'd do your lesson tutorial or your video, whatever it was. Um, you'd pause it if required and then um, go somewhere else, start it up again. And when you come to a stop, just click this button here. So it uh, works out, um, it's going to save a SWIFT. Um, it's going to create a HTML file as well. So this is, um, this is a, you're able to put this on a, a website so that this HTML page is clickable. So we'll just overwrite these, click save, and then do we get anything playing? No, but here's... Oh yes, we do. Uh, we get some information here for the HTML and Swift. Do you want the player controls? Do you want it to start at the beginning, the preloader? Do you want it to loop, etc.? Um, so we can go to uh, as high quality as possible. There's a few interface things here that are really not relevant to us because we're only interested in the... Swift file. So it's generating the Swift. Uh, here is the player. We can't quite see it, um, but as it's creating the Swift, um, it's also uh, creating the AVI in the background. So we'll just pause Camtasia Studio and then come back in the high 90s and uh, see this finished off. So here we've got. Uh, the, the unit finished and what's happening is the Swift is now playing in a, in a HTML file so we'll just close that off. Um, over here on the, the, my other monitor um, the uh, AVI AV file has been created in the same place as the Swift and we'll just have a look at that. Now it's just opening up here So let's get rid of that. So that's it. We've got our AVI. We can go into YouTube, point it at our AVI. It's the right size. Um, and we've recorded the monitor. It's something that takes practice. Um, I would recommend practicing doing the visuals first. Get all your windows open, all the... the um, applications that you're going to use, get them all sized up and in position and then minimize them so they're in the toolbar and you can click the toolbar and open them up as and when you require them. So that's it. Thank you very much for listening.